we're back at the Aria Gold Lounge and here we are with John Scully. Hi John, how are you going? Yes, I'm very well thanks Scully, how are you? Fantastic, it's day three, it's a rest day, which yes. I, uh, I know you're looking very blue eyed, green eyed or very sparkly eyed <laughs> after an enormous day two out there on the desert in the 45 degrees Celsius heat. So, would you like to say hello, who, say hello to Australia and introduce yourself? Yes, so I'm John Scully, I'm a firefighter from uh, Melbourne, Australia. I was at the Northcote Fire Station, I've been here for the last three, three or four years. Um, I'm also involved with the uh, Tour of Duty. I've been over here this is my third time into America to make sure this event takes off and is, uh, is the result we're after and to uh, remember the fallen firefighters and emergency service workers that lost their lives in New York City. Now, you're one of the directors of the Tour of Duty. Okay, so for anybody that's listening and watching this video right now, it's if you want to get involved, it's to go to the website tourofduty.com.au or if you're in America, it's tour, I can never say it right, tourofduty. No, tourofdutyrun.com. Yes, correct. Sorry guys, I've been practicing and obviously my American is pretty bad still, but that's okay. So, you're a director of Tour of Duty Inc. How'd you get involved? I've been involved with um, the Melbourne Fire Brigade to have a running club. It's um, been around for about 30 years and its prime mission is to raise charities sorry, funds for charities that are in need. Um, and part of this one is to raise funds for people that need, need uh, financial assistance. Um, the run also is very important. It does remember 9-11 and the people that had their lives taken. Um, as a firefighter, it is very much a brotherhood or a family. So the firefighters of America, you can really sense that as we, we travel, as I've traveled across before, it means a lot to these people. And their service people mean a lot to them. Um, I've become a part of this probably the, the run because I love to run. That's probably the first and foremost. But that part of charity that um, the Melbourne Fire Brigade have taught me has extended two years ago into Europe and now into America. And really importantly for us, to the firefighter brotherhood or firefighter family, to um, help people that need financial help. And, not just in New York, but across America. In Australia, the, um, the charities, the funds go to the, the Burns units in each state of Australia. So if people do want to donate through that website, um, any money that is donated in Australia stays in Australia and goes to the Burns units of each state. Now, you, you know, you talk about brotherhood, fraternity. You know, to me, that equals family. You know, yeah. fellowship of your fellow man and human spirit of, you know, what it's all about, about being on this great planet Earth. I've, I've only been around two days here with you guys, uh, you know, and it's been an amazing experience. I, I sense a feeling of family unity. Yeah, very much so. How, how you know, how does how do uh, thirty guys come together and it's like it is like family within forty eight hours? Um, it's, it's interesting as you said, it's day three. It's going to be very interesting to see how things are going on day thirty. I, events like this, when you get really tired and things do go wrong, it brings out the best and worst in people, and I'm sure we'll see. 99% of the best and a little bit of the worst. Um, but it's the firefighting brotherhood across the globe is very unique and it's, it's almost identical wherever you travel. Um, and there's an understanding of that makeshift. And when the when the pressure's on and there's work to be done, they will do their utmost to achieve the objective. And it's, um, it's an honour to be part of that group of people. And you, you, you mentioned that, you know, when, when, when it comes down, you know, when it's crunch time, like it was yesterday out there running from LA to Las Vegas and it's, you know, you leave LA, it's, you know, everything's honky dory and then yeah. you hit the desert and you've got 45 degrees Celsius and whether you're running through the night or you're running through the day of the heat, I mean, you really do need to require on your fellow man. Very much so. We knew before we left Melbourne that um, this run is about sharing the load and it's really interesting that the, the ability of all the people that are actually out on the road is so different and their age groups are so different. Um, and there's Rachel who's a champ. So, um, That's my girl. Yeah, she is. Um, she's got a great story herself, which I hope you'll hear. We rely on one another, and if someone's struggling, you help them. And if I happen to be one struggling, I know that they'll help me. And it's, it's almost unspoken, it's just a given that we'll work together. It's interesting because I know it's hard to put into words. I'm getting a sense it is hard to describe in words. I mean, I've been with you guys for like, I met you guys five days ago. I've been on the road with you for three days now. And and it, it is hard to put together how that trust. Yeah. I really feel a sense of trust and family and, 
and we're, we're, I think, it, you know, would you say, would you agree that it's like we're all working for the common good of mankind? Well, that's what the run's about. And still, we're still people, that, individual people, look at our own way of doing things, or we're quiet or we're loud, and you've got to understand that we speak one another. And I, I suppose, reflecting on what you just said, that's what this run's about. It's like a, a small version of what the world's about. The beauty of this group of people is that they're their job or their day-to-day -day living is to serve the community. Um, it's an honour to run with these people. So, um, in closing, is there anybody you want to say back home? Say oh, hello just, to back at home? Just if anyone happens to get on Facebook and YouTube, hello, hello to my um, family, my friends, and to uh, everyone at work. Thanks, Scully. God bless, and uh, see you in New York City on 9-11, and keep up the fantastic job. Look forward to seeing everyone at night in New York City.